Today on Barbecue with Franklin, we're gonna learn how to smoke a turkey for Thanksgiving. We're gonna make a brine, we're gonna brine it overnight, come back tomorrow morning, cook it, eat it. So we're gonna use a brine to soak our turkey overnight. And what that does is it's gonna incorporate a lot of moisture, a lot of flavor into the turkey. You could use a stock if you want. You could put herbs in there if you want. If you wanna do rosemary, thyme, sage, tarragon, maybe any of that stuff. I'm not gonna mess with it because we're gonna do it super duper simple. So it's gonna be two gallons of water, two cups of kosher salt, and two cups of white sugar. You were gonna let it sit overnight in a refrigerator in a five gallon pickle bucket. It's just gonna give a lot more flavor. You don't have to brine it, but it'll be a lot better if you do. More ends, kosher salt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One, two. And two cups of white sugar. One, two. All right, and then we're just gonna put a little bit of water in there. Always do cold water, has less impurities. We're just gonna cover up the uh, sugar and the salt there. gonna dissolve this. We're gonna make a concentrate because we want the liquid to be cold when we put the turkey in it. Obviously this is gonna get hot so we're gonna dissolve this. We're gonna get it stirred up real nice and then mix it in with some ice and then top it off where it's two gallons. We're gonna keep it on a pretty low heat to make sure we don't burn any sugar in there. I'm gonna grab the turkey out of the refrigerator and get to cutting. All right, and you certainly don't have to wear gloves, but I kind of like it, just for sanitation purposes, even at home. Again, with my trusty little boning knife. There's come of these weird clips on there. Gonna cut this little part off. It's just gonna burn up on the cooker. Ah, we're just gonna not mess with that. Gonna get up in here a little bit. Ooh, what's that? I'm sorry, little guy. I'm not meaning to do this to you. It's a turkey neck. <laughs> I don't know where it came from. Kinda, there's some like skin and stuff. Just gonna kinda snip that off a little bit. Then right here, just gonna kinda pull this open a little bit. And I always give you the, the innards in a little bag right there. And this has like the heart and the gizzards and all that stuff in there. Uh, really cool for gravy. Some people like to eat it, some people don't. So we're not gonna really mess with it. This one looks a little frozen because it's got a little bit of ice on there, but it is fresh. It's just kept so cold, just right on the line of freezing. So it's got a little bit of ice, but it's certainly pliable, it's soft. It's a fresh turkey, and that's what you wanna try to get. I shall remove my safety gloves. I think it's time to get the brine together. Just so happens, I've got a five gallon pickle bucket. Just ready to go. We're gonna take our little concentrated brine. Uh, looking good, looking tough. And since it's hot, I'm gonna cool it down with some ice. Because the last thing I want is a hot brine on a cold turkey. Top it off. This is a two quart pitcher, so I'm gonna have four of these and then a little bit more to make up for the volume. I'm gonna throw this little guy in the brine, let it sit overnight. If he seems to want to float, maybe throw a plate on top of him. Submerge it down in there. We don't have a floater. I think it's safe to go. Could somebody soap me up, please? Alrighty, so we'll stick a lid on this little guy. Put it in the fridge. Good night, little guy. <laughs> Honey! So it's the day after we've got this turkey soaking in the brine. Generally want to brine a turkey one to two days. It's a nine pound turkey, so we did it for a full day. It's the next afternoon, and I'm gonna pull it out. We're gonna make a rub, rub it down. Got the smoker hot already, and we're gonna put it on.
That feels like a jerky cookie. It's cute little guy. I'm gonna make a rub. 16 mesh black pepper. Maybe about a half cup's worth. Wharton's kosher salt. About a half cup's worth. And before I get my hands all dirty, I'm gonna mix this up. Put a glove on. When you pick this turkey up, remember that there is most certainly a cavity in there. So you don't wanna pick it up, cavity up, and then dump all this brine out on the floor. That, would, that wouldn't be so good. There you go. Apply pretty liberally. Turkey doesn't really have a lot of flavor, so I feel pretty okay with putting a fair amount of rub on it. Ooh, hope he's not ticklish. Let's get it down in there. You could pat the brine off the turkey also. I don't think it really matters a whole lot. If it's kind of wet, it's gonna help the rub stick. You could also put some olive oil or vegetable oil on it to help the rub stick. Don't forget about the cavity. I'll pour some stuff in there. It's looking pretty good. It's pretty even all over. It's a good looking bird. Let's put this thing on the cooker. Alrighty, lift up the lid. I'm gonna put this little turkey on. Ooh, sizzle it. I put the legs towards the firebox. Inside the smoker here, there's a flap and the heat's gonna be coming underneath like that. So I want the thighs to get a little bit more heat than I want the breast to get. The breast has a tendency to dry up because it is a white meat. The thighs are dark meat, legs are dark meat. They can take a little bit more. They've got more blood vessels, they got more fat in there. So it'll help insulate it from the heat. One other trick there might be is that when we check this thing, we're gonna be looking for color here in an hour or two. We want kind of like a caramely golden color on it before we wrap it up. But if the legs look like they're burning up or if the wings look like they're burning up and they're getting too dark maybe, we could wrap a little bit of foil on them, protect them while we get color on the rest of the birds. All in all, it really is a turkey. It's a very simple rub. We're just gonna smoke it and it's really not so much about the turkey. It's more about hanging out with family and friends and consuming this little turkey. But before I shut the lid, I'm gonna fill up a water pan. We wanna make sure it stays plenty moist in there. I'm gonna maintain this fire at 325 degrees. I'm gonna keep it pretty clean. We'll likely spritz this thing later on with some water. Gonna monitor it for color. When it gets to the right color, we're gonna wrap it up in foil and slather it in a ton of butter.